Hey guys, this is Nathan from GFX Fraternity here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial about poly effects in Cinema 4D. Now, you may have seen this um, in other places on other videos, maybe some other tutorials, but um, we're, I'm going to make this as simple as possible, and um, I'm going to walk you right through it from the start. Okay, so all I have set up here is um, all I changed in my settings was the output and the save and stuff just so um, I get an idea of where my window is going to be. But you don't have to do that. You can always do that at the very end. So um, what you want to do is you want to make your text. So um, what I'm going to make is uh, GFX Fraternity, if I can even spell. Okay, guys. So uh, that is my text. So we got our GFX Fraternity right here. And now what we're going to want to do is have our text selected, go to MoGraph, and Poly Effects. And you want to drag Poly Effects down into the Mo text. Just to know what I'm working with, I'm just going to name that GFXF for GFX Eternity. Now click on Poly Effects, click MoGraph, Effector, Random. And as you can see, that's going to make that um, right away. So if you have random selected and you mess with the X, Y, and Z axis in your transfer or in the parameter up here, parameter, you can uh, mess with that. It'll make them um, go to different places. And I'm just going to do a little timing here. So this is going to be um, at frame zero, everything is going to look like this. So all you got to do is click on one of the P's and it should select them all. Then you click control, hold down control actually, and click one of the boxes and it should select all. If it doesn't select all of them, make them all red, you just have to do it individually by holding down control and clicking each box. Now, at about yeah, 3 seconds at 90, I want to have it at 0, fully formed together. So now, those should still be selected. Hold down control, click it. So now if we play it back, they form together and... Boom, there we go. Now I'm going to show you um, another way you can do this. You can um, go into your random effector, go to, f um, actually, you can, let's see, um, uncheck the position and stuff. You can do rotation, and it just rotates everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this at um, the zero and everything. So what I'm going to do is go into my random effector, go to fall off. And the shape, I want to change it to a sphere. Now, as you can see, everything within the sphere breaks. So, you can always uh, make a cool effect like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this um, a pretty big sphere. Just so it um, fills or breaks apart everything. Okay. So, uh, at zero, I want the size. So all you got to do is click on that box, hold control, and click on the box again. And then all the way at 90, I want the box to be 0. Then we do that same process again, the keyframe. And now it goes like that, from the middle. It goes right from the outside to the middle. Now, I'm going to show you something different, and I'm going to just, instead of taking the time to delete all the um, keyframes, I'm just going to make a new random effector. So, cl uh, delete that, click Poly Effects, MoGraph, Effector, Random. Okay, so this is um, what's used in uh, quite a bit of videos. Um, I'm just going to put this up. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to Fall Off and also make it, um, oh, not a source, a sphere and you want to make it pretty big. I always put the red um, circle in the middle all the way down to as small as it can go so that um, it's uh, it's smoother, more smooth when you do this. You can see they look like panels in the air. So, um, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keyframe it at zero and I'm going to keyframe it where nothing is broken. So let's make sure nothing's broken. Nothing. Okay. So let's keyframe it and go all the way to the end and then I want to keyframe it again right at the end, make sure nothing's broken. And then keyframe it again. Now if we play it, it, it scrubs across and breaks it 
at the same time. Now you always know you can make it um, a lot slower by just taking your keyframe and making uh, them there are more um, frames and then dragging the keyframe all the way to the end um, and it just gives it this really nice effect and it doesn't make the um, the top like once they get all the way out to as far as they go it doesn't make them stay there and then come back in that's because I dragged that red that red circle that was in the middle I dragged it as small as it can go so right when it gets to the outside it comes right back in again so it's more smooth and um, that's just that really nice effect and you can always add the colors you can always add the caps to your letters and stuff like that just to make it um, look the way you want it to look and don't use the exact numbers I use don't do exactly what I do you want it to be what you you want it to be your own you want it to be different you don't want to be um, you you don't want your intro or your effects to be just like everyone else's because then everyone's just gonna be like oh that's, that's I seen that you want something different people like that so um yeah um, this has been Nathan from GFX Fraternity and I will see you guys later.